truck, wiggle out, jump, run, somebody. I'm scared. I know. I'm gonna be there in your head talking to you the whole time. Truck, wiggle out, jump, jump when the truck slows down, run. run. Sometimes trailer craft is really worth spending a quick moment on. For instance, this trailer for Room. Everything that could be a spoiler for a typical thriller is here for the taking, especially that final shot of the shed in a yard. Ugh. But Room is directed with fine grace and even more intelligence by Lenny Abrazen, and it is a work of light as much as darkness and love far more than evil. Brie Larson is tremendous as Ma, and relative newcomer Jacob, Jacob Trimbley is a wonder as our wee and wise and believable guide Jack. Both performances are being buzzed about for Oscar consideration, and deservedly so. Larson is fierce and canny as Ma, who was abducted in her late teens and imprisoned by a man she and Jack call Old Nick. She's been in that 11 by 11 cell for seven years, and when we meet the duo, they're celebrating Jack's fifth birthday. Hey. Do the math and your heart may break and your stomach may turn like Ma's father's does once the pair escape. Thank you for letting us do this interview. We're grateful to hear your story. Thank you to everyone who sent their good thoughts and their prayers. For five years, you made life in that small room, that prison, as nurturing and normal as you could. Mom, I'm five. You're five. So old now. You are so old now. Yep. Hey, do you know what we're going to do today? What? We are going to bake a birthday cake. You chose to tell Jack that room was the whole world, that there was nothing else. Good morning, lamp. Good morning, plant. Good morning, sink. I wanted him to feel safe and that it was a great place for him to live. Did you ever think you would be free? I hoped. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Thanks for saving our little girl. Seven hours. That's us. We push. I see windows and hundreds of cars and birds and grandma and grandpa. Jack, someone here'd like to meet you. Will he find us? No. He will never find us. Novelist Emma Donahue took her kernel of complicated inspiration from a story about Elizabeth Fritzel, an Austrian woman held captive by her father for 24 years. At that time, she bore seven children. Donna knew when she wrote her acclaimed novel that it could make a great movie, so she held tight to the idea of adapting it, and what a gripping yet visually poetic film it's turned out to be. Hey, this is no special victims unit foray into sex crimes. It's not exploitative. In ways subtle and substantial, Room is about love and parenting, about surviving horror. Like the book, the film is told from Jack's point of view. Sometimes I miss it. Wasn't it awfully small? Uh-uh. It went every direction, all the way to the end. It never finished. And Ma was always there. But it was small in wardrobe. Hmm? What did you do in wardrobe? Sleep. But old Nick came. I want to see Ma. Yeah, I know. She's, um, she just needs to be on her own for a little while. Jack? Someone here would like to meet you. Oh, Jack. Here, let me get this for you. Come on. Let's go see. Jack, meet Seamus. Would you like to pet him? Yeah. <laughs> 
At a time when sex crimes and predators have become narrative staples, it's illuminating to see a shift in focus. Don't get me wrong, Room's no evasion. The director and the writer are too smart and too compassionate for that. And hey, even though I'd seen the trailer before seeing the movie at the Telluride Film Festival, I was still freaked out as Jack and Ma neared freedom. And there are scenes that make evil nearly inescapable. The good thing is it's nearly inescapable. Hey, join me next week when Reaction Shot gives you the 411 on 007's latest, Spectre, with Craig, Daniel Craig. Until then, keep watching.